Okay, curveball's on the left, fastball's on the right. I paired them up to just make sure everything is the same. So far, so good. Same arm swing. Um, so notice that your hand's getting up a little bit sooner on your curveball. So we want to be doing the exact same thing with our fastball that we do with our curveball. You'll also notice you can see more of your left foot on your fastball than on your curveball. Your hips are also better on the, on the fastball, and that might just be the placement of your left foot. So remember, we want to be striding into the same exact spot. We want our arm action to be identical up to this point. Now, as soon as you get here, then your hand flips. But this is what I meant. Okay, we're going to zoom in here. Okay, I should see your fingers behind the ball a little bit longer. So already notice that they're running to the front of the ball. So imagine this position right here. Try to keep your hand in that position where your fingers are behind the ball as long as possible. Okay, so it's almost like they get to the front a little bit too soon, which is going to make it tip difficult for you to feel when you're going to release the ball. So those are the two things, uh, three things. Make sure your back, your left leg is the same. Make sure your arm path is the same. You can see that it's getting up a little bit early. And then really feel your fingers stay behind the ball as late as possible.